Garbo Gushiba commitment. Uh, you walk through the jungle, you can do this by yourself if your character is an introvert, or you can do this as a group. Uh, it's a good idea to have Never Weary and um, Waterproof. Uh, if you can summon grilled cheese, all the better, but they do has a grilled cheese ready to eat. Right meow, a cat versus Sims. Hello, humans! It's me, Loki. I am back with another episode of Cat vs. Sims, the show where I try to keep my human alter ego alive and happy and learn about human behavior. Uh, today is a special episode. There's no gameplay today. There's no furthering of the story. Uh, it is a sort of short overview of uh, our expansion packs and game packs that we have uh, installed on this account and what kind of we use them for and what we find useful or annoying or whatevs. So uh, let's just get this party started, okay? Okay, here we are. This is Seasons. Seasons is my absolute favorite pack. Comes with the holidays. If it wasn't for the seasons, we wouldn't be able to schedule our own holidays. It has uh, the different uh, decorations and the presents that can be reused. Very festive. Uh, you can make almost any holiday you could think of. Uh, it also has the um, thermostat because your Sims will get hot and cold depending on the weather. Uh, just thunderstorms. There's uh, the bees, if you want to be a beekeeper. Beekeeping is very useful if you have a garden. Uh, you could also sell the honey, and the honey is worth more if the bees like you. We really enjoy the bees. I don't have them on this gameplay yet. There's also a weather machine if you get sick of the weather. Expensive, though. Um... Yeah, impactful weather. You can get struck by lightning. Uh, your bees seem to attract that. There's flower arranging as a side hustle job. Uh, I don't remember there being a leaf blower, but that's interesting. Uh, holidays is, I think, the main goal because you can make your own holidays and then you get satisfaction points faster. Uh, we're not going to show you uh, what seasons look like. You've already seen it. Realm of Magic. If you want to be rich or you want to have superpowers and you don't want to grind for stuff, this is the pack you want. Uh, there is a spell called Copy Pasto that allows you to uh, copy and paste and sell anything that's expensive. So if you want to get rich fast, this is the one to do. It comes as sort of a urban fantasy clothing look, you know. Uh, also, if you want to battle for power and spells, and here it is, you can battle other uh, spellcasters. Uh, you has familiars. You can has a raven, or I think that's a phoenix. Uh, if you have kind of a Pokemon leaning, this might be a pack you want. Uh, I'll show you the. Um, what the place looks like. That's where the other Loki lives. Okay, that's me at Loki Odinson's house. Uh, it's it's snowing now because it's winter. It doesn't always look like this, but this is kind of what the landscape is that you can expect. It's sort of Middle Earth-ish. Typical fantasy forest stuff. There's a portal you can go through, from what I understand. I haven't actually seen that one. You can't uh, travel there unless... I mean, you can't travel there from the main thing. Cats and dogs, of course. Also one of my favorites. Uh, this is, as you would expect, what you would normally get with cats and dogs. What they don't show you here... I mean, look, there's the furniture that, you know, the scratching posts, and there's uh, a vendor. There's a pet toy vendor and things. Uh, what they don't show you here, you can paint your pet to look like your own pet or any kind of fantasy pet, but you can also has, uh, in the canines, there's a uh, fox, and in the felines, there's a raccoon. So you're not limited to dogs and cats. You can also start a vet clinic. Uh, the only thing about 
Brindleton is. There's a lot of stray cats and dogs running around that are sick. Uh, if you're sensitive to that, you probably don't want to get this pack, uh, but you could always go to the vets and get a uh, stack of uh, vet treats and that will help when you meet a sick animal. They count towards your limit of eight sims in a household, so you can't adopt everyone. You're going to have to have a few crazy cat ladies. We're not going to show you that because that's where we live. You could just watch any episode and see that. City living is new. It is uh, the chic kind of hipster fashion area. Uh, it's, you know, new things, bright colors, very shiny. Uh, the city living, uh, you can level up in uh, your living arrangements. You can work your way up from a tiny apartment to a penthouse. Uh, the main reason that we got it is because uh, it has festivals. And the festivals, I think, so far it looks like they start at 5 o'clock. They are different from the other place. They are... You see this? It's sort of a cultural festival kind of thing with, you know, uh, small entertainers and stuff. Uh, there's your skyline view if you like the metropolitan look. This is where you go for fashion. Uh, this is the gallery. We did find out that looking at uh, paintings here does not count towards an art level up. I don't know why, it's just as valid as any other artwork. We came here the other day to go to a karaoke bar. Uh, there's the fashion district. I'll spare you that right now. This is Planet Honey Pop, another bar. Uh, this one is for more karaoke. So karaoke came with this pack. If you want to level up on a singing skill, this is where you get it. So very artsy, kind of multi multicultural looking uh, metropolitan area. Get together. If your sim is an extrovert, this is the pack you want. Very uh, alternative, I would say. Uh, this is kind of an alpine village crossed with a bunch of uh, fancy uh, techno places. Oh, that's a pea bush. Anyway, uh, yeah, you'll see that soon enough. I'll make sure that Loki uses it. Uh, this is uh, like a vacation spot, uh, but the main draw is the DJ and dancing skills. Uh, and if you want to make a club, you can make a club. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite places there that aren't a club. We're going to go to a club there uh, next week, I think. But for right now, I'm just going to... Uh, in a minute, I'll show you where to go. See, this is kind of the alpine look. Um, but inside you have these very modern kind of underground raves, I guess is probably the best way to put it. They are all over the place. Um, if you like to be bothered by your friends by text, this is a good pack to get. They will do that constantly. You're going to have to learn to ignore them if you have to work. Or you will have to get rich with the spellcasters so that you can go to all the parties. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to show you um, the bluffs, I think, first. Okay, this is the bluffs. That's a pea bush. You can pee there or sleep there or both. Gross. Oh, Chubbs, hi. Whoops. I wasn't supposed to have this. Bob Ross is calling about becoming friends. That's You will get those constantly with the get-together pack. Uh, with the get-together, you can also uh, take over a club. If you have a Heather's Fantasy, you can join a club and work your way up and turn people against the founders, that kind of thing. Okay, Get Together came with bonfires. Let's take a look at this. 
I love the bonfires. There's also a sea monster out here somewhere that you can see sometime. I have not seen it yet. None of us has. Not on any of our accounts. Okay, there is, you can change the fire color. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. What, oh, I pressed the wrong one. Okay, press the fire, change fire color, all this stuff. Fire dance. Go ahead, Loki, show us your moves. There we are. Okay, here is the uh, maze. It's a haunted hedge maze. There's Bernard. Uh, Evie, I don't know what you're talking about. I was just looking to see what was out there. I think that's a new job. Okay, I'm just going to ignore her. Yeah, it's still the same job. Okay, there is the packs. Of course, there's a llama in the middle of the maze. This is the uh, kind of swimming club. Nice Olympic pool, place to hang. There is a private club in there that I, I don't remember who belongs to. Uh, this is your, you know, this is a park for the kids with a spaceship, stuff like that. Okay, next. The vampire's pack is, as you would expect, it's vampires. Uh, they can sometimes break into your house. Be wary of that. If you want a gothic look, this is a pack to get. Uh, it's much better than the uh, spooky stuff. For this kind of Adam's Family, Dark Shadows kind of thing. Uh, a lot of the stuff seems to be taken from the Vampire Diaries universe, but vampires have different powers in this from different kinds of folklores. Uh, and with the powers come weaknesses that you have to pick. Some of them, some of them don't like garlic. Uh, some of them can't be in sunlight. You know, it's all different. They need to charge up instead of eat, kind of. They have to do a dark meditation. But we've been here before. This is where Damon and Wednesday live. If you ignore the vampires when they first come to your door, they tend to leave you alone. You don't have to worry about them breaking in. But as soon as you start reading about vampires or talking to vampires, then you have that. Jungle Adventure is one of my absolute favorites. It's the Indiana Jones kind of pack. You, uh, you learn archaeology and about the Salvadorada culture, and you have to get... Uh, you have to get supplies here uh, at, at these little stands um, that are also useful elsewhere. If you want an energy drink, you can get it here. Uh, but in order to visit, you have to uh, take a vacation and rent a place. You can't just uh, go there on a trip, you know, like a day trip. It, it takes some uh, commitment. Uh, you walk through the jungle, you can do this by yourself if your character is an introvert, or you could do this as a group. Uh, it's a good idea to have Never Weary and um, Waterproof. Uh, if you can summon grilled cheese, all the better, but they do have a grilled cheese ready to eat. And those are the relics. The relics are the coolest thing. And yes, there are skeletons walking around that you can talk to. Uh, the relics give blessings or curses to people once you get all the pieces. Um, so there are only a few temples open every time you go. Some of them are always locked. Uh, if you go back, uh, it doesn't matter which ones, really. There's no other extra stuff in the ones that are locked. Strangerville, if you are a traditional Gamer, where you like a quest, uh, this is the game pack you want. Uh, Jungle Adventure has a little bit of that, but this one has, you know, your your plot coupons. You know, you collect your plot coupons, you gather some 
some allies and then you go and has a big boss fight, that's this one. That's this game that you want. Uh, it's uh, alien plants. Their pollen is causing these people's heads to get taken over. Uh, you need to find and develop a vaccine. Uh, you need to talk to some conspiracy theorists and military personnel. Very, yep, very X-Files, as you can see. I think that what they're going for there. You'll spend most of your time at the library and the bar here. You should probably, it would be good to be maxed out in handiness for this because you will need to fix some computers in order to hack them. Uh, programming skill, you can get that when you get there. It would also help to have high logic and plenty of time. We're going to go look, see, welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Okay, so I don't know, I, my, my tongue got lost there. I, I only came here to the secret base. Those are the plants. Uh, this is where your big boss fight is, several le levels underground. But you got to break in there and hack the computers and stuffs. Things get worse as you get more information. Okay, Discover University. This is the new one that came out this November. Uh, the main thing of interest here is, uh, I mean, it has the usual create a sim items extra. You know, they're kind of college-based. Uh, There are there are fizzy drink kegs, you know. Uh, there's a ping pong table for fun. Uh, you can the main reason you might want to do this if it wasn't just for the college experience is uh, you get more money in your career if you has a degree. Uh, the other thing is you can has we think it came with here you can has roommates. So there are three different universities to choose from. You could do robotics. Don't know if you can see a robot moving around or not. Have not gotten to that point. None of us has. Uh, the most interesting thing is the roommates, according to the Papa, uh, because you can have non-player characters as roommates now. So you don't, you could have eight people in your house, but only has to control one or two, which makes it much easier. You don't have to pay attention to everybody else. Uh, but also, well, let's take a look. Well, uh, there's University of Rochester, Gibbs Hill, and the other one is Foxbury. They have scholarships, but you can only get them after you apply. Okay, we're, let's check out the library. Okay, so you can get kind of a look at the layout. Okay, that's typical library, ice rink. Uh, this is what the town kind of looks like. You know, kind of an old college town, as you would expect. Uh, this is the papa's roommate, Death. He's just told him to exercise. Turns out Death also leaves passive-aggressive notes about your cleanliness, and he'll fix anything that's broken, I guess, because... It's dying. Huh. He needs a better leg day. Having trouble with leg day. Why are you working out your muscles? You has muscles? Well, that was our overview of our favorite things about these packs and our, our least favorite in some cases. So uh, hopefully you can be more informed about what you're getting. Um, tomorrow is Phrygia the 13th. Yes. Okay, so uh, there is an event tomorrow, I guess, that we're going to have to do some stuff for. I can't wait to see what it is. Uh, thank you for joining me, and that's all for meow. Next time on Cat vs. Sims. Okay, spooky spirit. 
Uh, hold on, there we go. That's good. Uh, spooky spirit. Uh, I'm gonna try talking to Damon. It says talk to vampires. Hello, humans. It's me, Loki. Uh, back with a brand new episode. I don't want to say that. Do I have to say that? Okay, what else? Uh. Herbal Gushibaba.